Hey guys, if you're in 91, and I'm talking about Nintendo Switch. Why? Because Nintendo Switch has been the same price, basically, ever since it came out. Yes, you have some discounts every now and again, I think. I don't know. I don't actually know if they have, but I think they've had maybe like maybe certain places will discount it to a certain time but the overall um price has stayed the same so apparently nintendo has confirmed that at least this year not until the next fiscal year which is april 2024 at least not until it seems like they will not be dropping the price of the nintendo switch right they also confirmed that 70 dollar games will not become the regular but here's the thing guys see nintendo is I believe known for not dropping their prices, especially like on their games, but not really dropping their prices of their systems for I think a little longer, usually. Because this is a little weird, let's be honest, this is a little weird, but usually, like with the Wii, I don't think the Wii got a price reduction until three or four years into the system's lifespan. But I don't think they've ever lasted this long. It's almost six years now. It's or around six years since the Nintendo Switch was released. So I really do not think that this is the normal for Nintendo even. Yes, Nintendo, I think, usually waits a little longer, but this isn't, like, the normal, I believe. But no one's really following the normal right now due to what happened in the, you know, everything that happened. You guys know. Everything that happened in the past three years, no one's really following the normal. Because Xbox Series X and PS5, I believe, are still the same prices as well. You know why? Because they don't have to drop their price. I mean, especially PS5, they're still, like, flying off shelves, I believe, because they still can't keep up with the demand i believe maybe they maybe they've gotten to the point where they can but i don't think so not even yet with the ps5 at least xbox series x i think so but not ps5 so nintendo i just think doesn't have a reason really because other than the xbox series s which isn't really selling i think as well as the other ones nintendo is the cheapest console so even their oled is cheaper than the ps5 both digital and physical and the xbox series x so when you're the cheapest out there you may not be as compelled to drop your price, especially when your competitors haven't dropped theirs yet. So I'm not saying it's consumer friendly because it isn't, but we do know when it comes to marketing and, mar and um, the market in general, it's a competitive market. Like people make changes based on the competition a, a good amount of times, I believe. So from a business perspective, I guess they just don't feel the need that they have to drop the price yet. I mean, I don't think they've ever held out this long before. I mean, like almost six years, but I really just think at this point, they just don't have a need to. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think they really should drop the price? And do you guys think that would actually help with sales? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.